hot. It's 89 degrees. See, I want to do some foliage when I fur a barrier. They're actually not bad. Cat palms. I love these. This one guy did it for privacy. Let's see how much they are. $35. Only need about three of them. We're going to do a project today, and I'm going to show you guys when we get home. So I'll see you at home. Travel trailer likes to wobble. So you're gonna put these on the inside of those towards the about right there on the board inside. You're gonna have one across from each other. It's up in the frame, wedged on the ground with the angle he just put in. And then, nice. And then you ratchet across. Mm -hmm. Three bucks a board, seven dollars, 85 cents a piece. Sick, yeah, less than 15 bucks. about the same right yep all right let's try one side see how it looks are you gonna paint them first I gonna paint them. nice see and then I can stencil flamingos on them <laughs> right Mr. No Madness. So where'd you see these at? On the internet? Yes. On this YouTube? guy tried all the shit they sell and he decided to come up with his own legs. And he said it works better than anything for $15. That's about what it cost. Yeah, but the other stuff cost 50 and up. Do you see I, how expensive I just, those are? I just painted it just so it would... I know. Aesthetics. I'll finish painting them with a brush and making them look really cool. So you put these hooks in here like this. And you do it on a little bit of an angle so they'll stay straight. Let's see how much wiggle this thing has first. A lot of wiggle. Probably scaring Tiggs. <laughs> All right. I'll go in and test. Let's see if we got wiggle. That is tight. That is cool. So we gave the camper legs. Ah! Just, see that? Oh, it's like solid, as, it's a solid as a rock. That front don't even wiggle. I went in the bedroom and did the back and forth. Nothing. And that's right up on the frame. Yeah, up in the frame. That's cool. Now we got to do the back. So we have no wiggle in the back. <sighs> so that's how you do it, guys. Yeah. All you need is some 2 by 4 we cut these into three foot, three foot, put an eye hook through there, and a strong ratchet strap. Tighten that shit so 
it stops the wobble. Because it was driving us crazy. Let's look at the finished work. We did it at the back because the frame here, you see it has, oh my God, it has the, to brace it. So it's going nowhere. And then we did 45 degree angles, matching 45 there. And the same at the top going like that, to hold against the frame, the ratchet strap going across tight. So there you go. There's the front. There's the back. It's not ugly, we painted them white. Now let's go test the floors inside. Do you feel me moving? No. No? Awesome. Front and back. All right, guys, there you are. Your DIY travel trailer stabilizing legs. You're our hero. <laughs>